Hope you guys enjoyed that video, dude. The sun, the sun show its face today here. So it's just it's been a lot of chores here around the house and stuff like that. So now I gotta go to a birthday party. I gotta go to Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Nah, the pizza's actually gotten quite better at Chuck E. Cheese and stuff like that. So, but uh, anyway, uh, in major news and stuff like that, it looks like Donald Trump, as of right now, signed an executive order that he wants to put high power, and I mean high power lasers. On satellites. But we already knew this technology already existed. Well, now he's finally coming public, and he's saying that by the year 2023, he wants these things operational to the point where they can be able to shoot down, you know, incoming ballistic missiles and stuff like that from rogue countries like China or Russia or North Korea. He wants to be able to be able to shoot down, maybe even possibly like, let's say like the Zircom missile was coming. Well, I know the Zircom travels 10,000 miles an hour, but you know, I mean, that's fucking hauling. But you know, a laser is faster than that. So if we can pull through this and get this done and Trump can actually do this with space force. That awesome, man. That's fucking great, dude. Then we'd be able to shoot down whatever we want. He also made another executive decision that he wants to put F-22s for every two hours out from every major battle zone. And he wants them armed with lasers, too. Along with the Apache helicopters and stuff like that. But the Apaches are not going to be, uh, you know, they're mainly in the Middle East and stuff like that. The Apaches and stuff like that. They're in Afghanistan blowing the shit out of terrorists. So, yeah. Yeah. I love the Apache, dude. The Apache is the best, dude. It's the best of the best. It just keeps getting better. That that thing is mean machine, dude. I wouldn't want to be in the air against it. So, but those are the major stories and stuff like that. Remember how I told you that, you know, Israel responded when uh, Gaza, you know, like the uh, Hamas thought it'd be a good idea to fire two rockets at Tel Aviv the other day? I had no idea, but they actually responded with over a hundred guided missile strikes over a hundred so they fired two missiles and they fired over a hundred this is what i mean when i when i say just leave israel alone or what or whatnot because dude if you hit them with one bullet that you know what i mean they're gonna bring a full clip to the to the party you know what i'm saying they're just you know you watch it's gonna happen it's shit's gonna go down He's got those two fucking tunnels. Hamas has got those Hezbollah or whatever you want to call these motherfuckers over there. Hezbollah's got these two tunnels going all the way from Lebanon all the way to Israel. You watch. These fucking tunnels are going to be blown to shit in the next coming days. You watch. BB is not going to sit back and just let these fucking terror tunnels enter into his fucking country. I'll tell you that. So that ain't going to go down. So... But there you go, Trump and Space Force, lasers, high power lasers, so it is what it is, so days are, it's getting crazy, man, days are just crazier and crazier, crazier stories, you know, it's just fucking nuts, so wars and rumors of wars, and I wish we... I wish we, that we had the laser technology right now to shoot down ICBMs. I think that we do have lasers up there and stuff like that that's capable of sh modifying weather and creating earthquakes and stuff like that. I, I think we can do that. I don't know if the technology is quite there yet to shoot down missiles traveling at those speeds yet. But rest assured, it's in the play. It's in the books. He, he, he budgeted for it. I don't know. You budget for all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And how the hell are you going to budget for your wall? You ain't getting a wall if you want all this. You want Space Force and you want those. And you want two new destroyers and another aircraft carrier over there guarding fucking Putin. And you want these, you know, and all these stealth ships every single year. How, how the hell are you going to afford this wall? That's what I mean. I just, I mean, I want the wall. Don't get me wrong, people. I want the wall. We need a wall, but 
I don't know how the hell you're gonna fund this motherfucker, dude. We spend so much money in defense spending, it just it's unfathomable how much money we spend in the USA. So But anyway, there you go. F-22s every two hours off from every major hotspot. Watch out, bad guys. The F-22 could be knocking at your door at any minute and you wouldn't even fucking know. All right, love y'all. As always, peace and love from Fargo, baby.